Hi, uh, welcome to a, my video. Um, in this, I'm going to talk a little bit about IP addresses and in specifically about a topic that a lot of people search for online. Um, how to get an IP, how to change your IP address or use an IP address changer. Um, there's normally a lot of confusion about this. There are hundreds of um, YouTube videos that completely miss the point. So I'm hoping mine will help explain it a little better. At least I'll try. Okay, the important thing to remember about changing your IP address, and one of the um, difficulties I see with a lot of uh, videos and websites about, is the fact that you effectively have two IP addresses. You have an internal one, which you use on your own mini network at home, or business college, and you have an external IP address. Um, to show you the internal one here, if you go into the Windows network settings, or if you're on a Mac, it's in a different place, obviously, uh, and look at your local area connection, and look at properties, you will see here, let me just go here, properties here, you'll see a list of IP addresses, okay? You can see here I've got an IP address of 192.168.1.16. Um, that is an internal IP address. There are millions and millions of people all over the world who've got that exact same address. The reason they can do that is because they're internal. The outside world doesn't see them. You could go happily go in there and change that IP address to whatever you like. But to, ex to, every, to external websites, you wouldn't have changed anything. Um, be careful if you do change this. If you, if you change it to something that can't communicate with your router or your modem, you'll basically lose internet settings. But I could change this to 1.1.1 1 .1 1, and as long as I change my router or modem to, the, to work on the same subnet, I'll be fine. Um, but to everybody else, it would make no difference whatsoever. The reason is because everybody else, everybody on the internet, sees my external IP address. And that is assigned normally by my ISP. So whoever you pay to um, use your internet, that's where you'll get your IP address. Now, looking on my router here, can you see my router? It's on 192.168.1.254 on the same network as me. But that, again, is its internal IP address. Its external IP address is assigned here. Can you see it says get dynamically from ISP? And I blank this out so you can't come and hack me. That's my external IP address. When I visit a website or I go to any forum or news group or something, that is the address they see. OK, that is the address that is unique on the Internet, and that is the address that is uniquely assigned to me. If I was working at the FBI and I was tracking down me, that's the address I'd use because that's currently listed as being used by me. And they can go to the ISP, get the address, and they can come knocking on my door because only I am using that unless somebody is sitting in my garden hacking into my Wi-Fi. But this is the important IP address. This is the one that um, controls what you can see, what you can access. Now, people often look, say, they're, try, they're trying to get onto a site they can't normally access, maybe BBC iPlayer or Hulu. If I go to Hulu, for instance, I won't be able to access that because I'm not in the United States. It has looked at my IP address and that IP address I showed you in my router, and it's assigned from a UK ISP, and I can't access it, okay? That is the important IP address. Now, the important thing to remember here is when I, is you cannot change that IP address. That external IP address is set by your ISP. Unless you own your ISP, you will not be able to change it. You could buy a static IP address, but again, it will be assigned by the ISP and will be linked to the country you're in. When people want to change their IP address, they normally want to try and access something like Hulu here. So let me just minimize this. And I will tell you the way to do it. What you need to do is use either um, a proxy or a VPN server. Now, 
these are servers that sit between you and your connection and supply a false address if you like you've still got the same IP address to demonstrate I'm going to show you a program I use called Identity Cloaker here is Identity Cloaker and here are lots and lots of IP addresses now if I connect through to one of these um, let's just check uh, an American one to a fast American one there's a fast American one uh, when I connect through that I have now effectively changed my IP address. It's a little confusing in the fact that it just appears to come from a different place. This Identity Cloaker server will sit between me and wherever I'm visiting, and it will provide that IP address, not my real one. So, I can now go to Hulu. Um, Hulu and you know I got the big message before saying I couldn't watch such and such I won't get that now because to Hulu I am in America because I've got an IP address or it sees the IP address of Identity Cloaker American server and that's how it works that is how you get an IP address changer that's how you access block content um, access forums, news groups that are normally restricted to certain um, IP address and countries. Well, I hope that's changed it up, uh, cleared things up. Um, I've tried to make it as um, simple as possible, um, and I hope that's helped somebody. Um, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.